Hey guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Pixork. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Squishy and I are ready to do some more work on the wine wow. cellar. So, last time we just got the framework done and it's all laid out like I like it. Um, what we need to do now is work on the finishing touches to make it look like a wine cellar so right now it just kind of looks like uh, the beginnings of a cathedral <laughs> or something uh so getting the wine set up or the bottle set up i should say is going to be a little bit of a challenge what i want to do is have an inset look but i don't want it looking too far deep okay so mainly what we want is to be able to access wine by going in by one okay uh, now in that, we probably are going to need some shelving of some sort. So let's go ahead and do foundations on this height. And I think we're going to focus on... How about we do... What kind of foundation should we do? I'm thinking... Maybe... Because this is going to be what we're looking at. Maybe the executive would work pretty well for this, but something a little bit different. So how about that? No, I'm thinking wood, right? I'm thinking wooden foundations here. Hmm, we've got maybe floors. Yeah, we've got wooden floors and we've got the western wooden floors. Honestly, I think the wooden floors is going to look weird because they have, like, the table or whatever. So, I think it's going to have to be western. Yeah. Or we could do magic academy. No, not magic academy. Let's just do western. That looks good. Okay. So, western it is. We'll take western. We can always paint this a different color if we really want to. Uh, so we put Western on top. Actually, let's make it the straight look. Oh, is that new? What is going on here? Um, huh? These are ghosts. How? Oh, they just went away now. Okay. Something is up with that. That is the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, what do uh what do the ceilings look like here? Okay, at least that one kind of stuck. What in the name of creation is going on. That's a serious bug, I think. Okay, well, we'll just... Maybe it'll go away? Yeah, it goes away when you go through it. How odd is that? Does that still do that? Let's, let's go... Yeah, it still does it. So weird. All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna concentrate on ceilings then, <laughs> for the time being. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna mess with none of that voodoo magic stuff. Okay, <laughs> I I have no idea what's going on with that. <laughs> okay, so let's take western ceilings now. Oh, we're gonna have to do one found one weird foundation. Maybe it's because it's around this bridge. I don't know. Who knows? All right. And we'll just take this, and I imagine it's going to go away just any second now. We might as well do the same things over here. I'm going to have to get more dirt. Well, I have those grass blocks, right? I'll just use the grass blocks. There we go. And I flew too far again. Okay. Yeah, some of that stuff is just going to be covered up in time, y'all. So I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, we could do that right there. And then we can switch to these. And we're going to pull that up. Weird, weird, weird stuff here. And we're just going to run it across, to tell you the truth. There we go. All right. That'll eliminate some, some time and worrying about stuff. All right, so 
we have the first shelf of the wine cellar, okay? Uh, next, now there's going to have to be a back wall to this too, so that's why I'm not too worried about how it's going to look right away. But we need to see what we can do as far as shelving is concerned and how that'll work. So what I probably need to do here is I might need to work from the top down. Or I could do just another ceiling and see. If we do... If I do blocks on top of this, can I place bottles? Is the weather bad or is it just getting day? Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, the question is, will I be able to just do bottles on top of any old block or is it going to have to be a ceiling? Um, and uh, let's see. I do have a vault here with a few things. Just because I didn't remember the name of all of it, I'm going to have to spawn some of it in. So let's try it right here. Okay, so yes, you can place it on that. So if we take this, and I mean bottles, guys. This is this is what we're looking at as far as bottles are concerned, okay? That's what we're going to have. All right, um, we probably need to do one more to tell you the truth. So let's go ahead and pick this up and do just some more grass blocks, just like so. And we'll do the bottles right there. Uh, we could probably afford to just pick a specific direction and take it. So that's what we're gonna do. I gotta be careful because this pick hits all sorts of stuff. Okay. And we'll do the same thing. I wonder if I can place. I can. All right, good. Uh, do we want the shelves long ways like that? Hmm. If we do, we need to consider that before we place all the bottles, which is kind of impossible. So what we'll do, uh, honestly, is we're going to pick that up and we're going to place these from the other side. So the shelving will actually be like so. And then we go, oh, we can't place on top. That's a problem. Can we place on the bottom of it? Yeah, we can. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't look like we could place with that. But if we were to, let's just, let's just do a few things right here. Let's try this now. Okay. So now if we put bottles like this is it did I have them like this I think I had it like that yeah with these bottles up front all right yeah so we could do that and then we take this away and we add these again Okay, and now we place the bottles again, and now we take the dirt away. I'm sorry if I sound so ridiculous, y'all, <laughs> but it's really hard to figure some of this stuff the way it works. Uh oh, uh, that's no problem. We can still we can we can fix that. All right, at the bottom, it's not a big deal. Okay, so now we just need to put wood walls down, I think. Uh, let's see, do we have wood walls? Wood walls, 50. Okay, or, oh, we're using Western, aren't we? Walls. Western wood walls. I don't know if this is actually going to work.
Let's try it. No. Nope. We need the wooden ones. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna look great. Okay, yeah. It's gonna look fine. Perfect. Okay, so we go above. And now we're gonna put ceilings on top of this. Which... Uh-oh. I could see that this might be a problem. We can't put... With the bottles, we won't be able to put ceilings. So we would need to place this all the way around again. Oh my god. Are you serious? Uh, we could do one more shelf, maybe. To do, like, a ceiling. So let's try this. Let's just try placing... Let's see how it looks from the inside without a ceiling. Um, actually, that's fine. Just so it shows in the back is alright by me, I suppose. Actually, we're not going to want this, though. We're going to want bricks. I think we're going to want bricks right there. Okay. So, what kind of bricks are we going? I think I would like something that looks a little bit rustic or old world. Like, um, I don't know. Let's see what we got. Uh, we want walls. We do want a brick wall. So sandstone is probably not going to be it. The clay might do what I want it to do. The clay is a little bit red. Let's try clay walls. Okay. Uh, in order to do this, we're going to need to put more ceilings down here. Okay, and clay walls now. Uh-oh. Oh. It was making such a racket, I really thought it was, like, destroying the bottles when we place them or something. Yeah, this is pretty red. I think that's red enough for me. And we'll just do that and that. Alright, I think that's pretty good. I could possibly... Put dirt. Can I place dirt? Where were those grass blocks? I can do that. And then I could place. No, the walls wouldn't go on top of that. That's probably good enough. Bad weather. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's probably bad. That's probably good enough. All right. So, is that what we want? I think it is, y'all. I think it is. I'm really thinking on the lines of putting the side as... The wood. See, the wood on the side is throwing me off here. It really is. I'm thinking that the wood on the side actually should be clay? Either that or Magic Academy. Uh-oh. Don't get don't tell me we're gonna have these problems. Okay, I was about to I was about to say, man. Let's take a look at both of them and see how we like it. I need an easier way to get in through the windows. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Yep. I do think that this is right. In fact, I don't know if the clay walls would look better as uh, underneath here, too. Actually... Let's see. We're going to have to be really careful here. I'll tell you what. I'm going to pull these out just in case. So I can aim low. And we're going to do foundations right here. It doesn't matter what they look like. 
Yeah, Clay Walls, just like that. And then Executive Foundations. Ooh, baby. <laughs> I like that a lot. All right. So, I have to rinse and repeat this is basically what I have to do. And it's going to take me a little bit of time. So, let's get, let me get this done, guys. So after doing three of them, I figured out how to do them kind of lickety-split, guys. Uh, what I do is this. I just fill up the cubby with dirt. And I place the blocks as soon as I get them in the place that I want. There we go. Then I go ahead and break these three. And I add the trap doors. Then I break, uh, I place blocks next again. And I break these. And I place trap doors. It's kind of weird that you have to follow this kind of methodology to get it done. But, and thankfully they place on walls. So you could just put the walls down after that. And, uh, oh. I gotta place them the, the, the correct way. There we go. All right. So that's, that's nice and uniform now, guys. That is nice and uniform. So what I need to do is add a little bit of, uh, I guess, stuff around here. Uh, some of that is going to include crates, and some of it is going to include barrels. And we're also going to try to work in a couple of brewing barrels and see how that goes. So let's grab these wooden barrels. We're going to grab some vases and some pots as well. Some bag of sundries. And I think that should probably be good. Maybe a couple of flowers. I'm going to try not to incorporate all the decorations in all the builds all the time. You know, because I know that I can be a little bit overly selective when it comes to stuff like that, right? Okay. So, let's take a couple of these decorations and see. For the barrels, there's a bunch of different things you could do with them because you can paint them and all sorts of things um, and I don't have a whole lot of these but I could spawn them in it's not a big deal I think mostly it's gonna be the crates so let's go ahead and just start placing some of the crates down here we're gonna do crates on every wall I want to say I don't I don't I don't want to do it like really uniform or whatever so let's go ahead and do a barrel here we're gonna do a barrel here a couple of barrels here and I think I can grab the barrel spawn code here here we go and we'll just spawn a hundred of these things in all right hopefully my weight <laughs> doesn't give out here I have infinite stats so I don't think it matters or whatever but all right, so we have a little bit of variation in a couple of the things. I think I'm going to go ahead and honestly, let's go ahead and add two barrels here instead just to kind of give it a thing. Okay, uh, now let's look at those brewing barrels that we have here. Brewing. We have the brewing barrels, which uh, let's just get 10 of those. I have no idea how they look. They're probably going to be relatively big. Uh, just thinking about them. I've never built one in survival, so I'm not too sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Okay, no problem. Uh, we can actually... Let's see how big that comes out. And it's the other way around. So we don't want to cover up that we're probably going to do is let's go ahead and demolish that. Yeah, I thought they were just going to be ridiculously big. We can put it in the middle here. Actually, yeah. Is that the middle? Oh, no, it sits kind of funny, doesn't it? Does this one sit kind of funny? Yeah, it does. This one is actually three wide, guys. See? You incorporate a build evenly, and they do stuff like that, which makes you just absolutely crazy. So that means we do need to actually put two in in order to make this work. Or 
we place it just like that. Well, no, because that's not going to do either. Is that close enough to where we care? Ah, actually, that's probably okay. That's probably okay. Because you can still... I was worried about it taking up some of the room to see the wine bottles. But the, the, the design is duplicated enough to where we really shouldn't worry about that. And we're probably going to have a, a little... Yeah. We're probably going to have a little doorway through here too as well. I'm not really sure how we're going to do that yet. But what we want to do now is just add a table. So... We did have, uh, I did think about a couple of table designs, and I didn't really think about chairs or whatever, but I think this table is going to work. We used this in one of the builds um, that we did. We're going to put this in the center of the room, and we're going to do it long ways. And this is going to be like the tasting table, so to speak, okay? So for this, I don't think that we can do any blocks above, because if we did... Let's say the grass block, okay? If we just put a grass block down, and on top of that, we put the bottles, and we take that away, it's going to be higher than the rest of the table. See what I mean? So we can't really put anything on top of the tables. I think that's a little bit of flaw in the design, the way it goes, but we want to do some stools around this thing. Um... So, for the stools, I mean, we can easily do our own makeshift table. Now that I'm thinking about it, we might just take these tables away and try our own makeshift table. I think it might work a little bit better. Um, so, and we'll be able to get the right dimensions for it, too. So, 2x3 ought to be fine. So when you think of these, what type of foundation? It's going to have to be a foundation, most likely. Uh, actually, why am I doing it in this menu? One of these days, I'll get it. So foundations, we have iron, we have steel, we have bamboo, we have thatch. I don't think any of these are going to do. Let's do wood. And wood foundations might be wood floor, huh? Dark wood might work. No, not really. Um, can we just do floor? We have the sea crystal. That's not going to do it. Wooden, I think, is going to be the best here if it doesn't freak out on me. Wooden floor. Let's try it out. So, naturally, we're going to need to pick out where this is going to be and put blocks down in its place. So I think let's just take off a couple of blocks right here. Three by two. We could probably do one more out. I think that's going to be fine. Okay. So let's add blocks now. So we can do the tables underneath. I mean on top. I'm sorry. Okay. There's no alternate patterns for these things. So it is what it is. Okay. And that's going to be the table. It looks a little bit odd, but hey. And we'll need to stop flying here. So let's see. I got to make sure not to kill Squishy. <laughs> uh, all right. And let's just duck down and take care of these. All right. And we place executives in the same spots. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, the nice thing about this, too, is we can paint it brown if we want to, but I don't think that's going to be uh, really necessary here. Okay. I did get some chairs last time. And those chairs are... We're going to try dark wood chairs. Why? Well, because they kind of look like stools. So we don't really need, like... See, and now it's more, it's a little bit more casual, right? It's a little bit more casual. So we're going to put out a few things here. Let's put a couple of things of wine. 
We're gonna do a a spittoon. The spittoon might be a little big. That's okay. We're gonna do a spittoon. We gotta do some candles. Why am I doing it right here? Candles. Uh, oh, are the candle sticks real big? Let's just go ahead and try them here. How? What other kind of candles do we have? We have the candlestick. We have the candle lamps. Oh my! Do we have any chandeliers? I didn't even think about lighting yet. Chandelier. We do have a mechanical chandelier. Oh no, that's a mechanical arm fabricator. What the hell was I thinking? Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Lamps. Let's look at the different type of lamps. We have the ceiling lamps. We have the firefly ceiling lamp. That's probably going to be one of the better looking ones to hang. We might even be able to do some of these. Okay. So, let's take the candles now. And we'll also take the candle stick. And we'll see how these look. Oh, no. That's way too gaudy. <laughs> that's way too gaudy. Uh, let's just do... This table seems really small now. All of a sudden, right? Uh, let's see. Hmm. little bit off now that I'm looking at it we do want a candle though I think we just gonna do let's do let's let's take away the spittoon actually let's take away the the, the spittoon I think that'll be good we'll actually change this look to there we go I didn't know they had one without any spilled bottles no there's not <laughs> I, I didn't see that spill bottle. I was about to say man if they didn't have a spill bottle. Okay, and we need a couple of napkins, which is going to translate into carpets. Um, let's see. Rugs, I'm sorry. And I'm doing it in the wrong menu again. Rug. Or carpet. Maybe I was wrong. Thatch carpet. Hmm. Can you not spawn in rugs? Magic. No. Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh, I'm going to have to spawn in through the items. Uh, through the commands. Okay. Yellow dragon skin carpet. Let's do red. Um, thatch carpet. Fur carpet. Magic carpet. Red dragon skin carpet. There we go. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay. Let's just... <laughs> Delete all this. Yeah, we're going to learn and we're going to have some stuff sitting on the sidelines, guys. That's the only way we'll be able to do it. Okay. Well, we're not going to do the full ones just like we never do, okay? We'll just put one, like, right here. That's probably good. And I don't know if we should do one on the, the end right here or something. Maybe not. I think just one of them is, is probably good. Demolish the carpet. There we go. All right. So now we need a look at lighting. Uh, let's take a look at lighting in general. So from the outside, we can do a bunch of stuff with lighting. So we don't have to worry about actually... Um, well, making <laughs> electricity and stuff and to keep things lit. So none of these are ceilings, which are kind of, uh, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but I think that this is definitely what we want here. So let's take a look at something. If we were to do ceilings, I already have ceilings in my inventory somewhere. Magic Academy ceilings, that's probably fine. Let's go ahead and make it day again and make sure that the weather is clear. We'll take the Magic Academy ceilings and stretch those across. Let's say, let's fly again. Right about Hmm. We're probably just going to have to move it like this, honestly. We can just do a block. This is the center. And 
that is the synergy. So let's just do this. So we'll remove these two. We'll put a grass block. Oh, what, am, what did I do there with the bottles? Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, wait, what am I doing? So we do a foundation. Right there. And we do a ceiling right there. I know it's weird. And we'll have to change that, that out to a wall again, but I don't know if that's going to work. Actually, I don't think it will, come to think of it. We need a ceiling that matches... Yeah, we need a ceiling that matches... Uh, we need dark wood ceilings is what we need. Dark wood ceilings. Okay. These right here. And now we can run both of those. Okay. Now we can take this away. And now we can put that down. Hmm. I'm thinking that that looks a little bit too close. Tell you what, let's take this away. Demolish. Demolish. Let's just take a few of these ceilings, because we can replace this if we want to. Okay, take a few of these ceilings. And let's do a few more. Darkwood ceilings. Let's just do 50. And we'll try to stagger these chandeliers. And let's see, I left two on this side. So I'll just do that again. This doesn't look so bad, to tell you the truth. In fact, I don't know if I don't like the that design a little bit better. All right, guys. I fixed up the build like I liked it. I ended up moving around the lights a couple times, so I just cut it out because it was a little bit redundant. Because I like the way that the support beams look better than the ceilings, but it's impossible to do anything with the ceilings. And I tried just pieces of the ceilings with the support beams, and I think it looks better just in the staggered pattern like I did it. So that's what we got. <laughs> um, the only other thing that we need to do, I, I ended up putting some rugs right here at the doors as well, just to like some welcome mats. And I think the last thing that we need to do is a couple of windows. So I think we're going to do a traditional style long window right here and probably a larger window set up right here. And I might even do something like the Magic Academy windows like this. So let's put those in and let me clear this weather. Um, Magic Academy windows. Okay, we've got Magic Academy stone windows. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll do that. And we're also going to need glass walls. All right, glass walls, beautiful. Let's just do 50. I don't think I'm ever deleting anything out of my inventory. Because <laughs> I, I have no weight limitations because of infinite stats, and I can just pull from it, so it's a little bit easier. Uh, windows, there we go. All right, let's see how these look. We'll go ahead and set this... Oh, they're a little bit taller than I thought, actually. Little taller than I thought. I don't know if that's going to work up top. Yeah, that works up top. I don't know if it's too magician-y. 
In fact, I think this kind of throws it off. This kind of throws it off. I don't need that much space right here. Maybe if I just did two glass walls here, or maybe none at all, honestly. Yeah, none at all is the answer. I don't know. It just, it was too much. <laughs> it was too much, guys. That's all I got to say. All right, and for these, let's see how the glass looks in here. Tempered might look a little bit better. Temper has rims on it, though, so I don't know. Honestly, that, that, that looks pretty darn good right there. I think that looks pretty good right there. And guys, that is the build. Outside of lighting some of these candles, let's see what we can do here if the candles get lit. Um, do we have to put the candles here first? Oh, wow. And we can turn those on. <laughs> wow, okay. Let's grab candles here. Let's see. Candles. 50... Alrighty, <laughs> we can we can add some candles here. I might as well just put them right here. Turn on. We'll get that ambiance going. Turn on. Turn on. And one more. Man. Yep, I like that a lot. Can I light this candle too? I'm just going to light that one up too for the ambience. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the wine cellar. Oh. Hold on. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot, guys. I think it came out... I think it came out exactly like I wanted it to come out. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. I hope you all really enjoyed the build, guys. If you did, give me some dab on that like button and show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily building videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.